welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! Ah, hey, I'm doing an intro. Come on, man. Welcome back to Nomad Survival. Uh, it's Crab Mechanic. <laughs> the spine tripped up the cow. Uh, so, uh, today I'm gonna be attempting to build a mining vehicle, a deployable mining vehicle for my mobile base here. Because this thing is just not ideal. It is not very well suited for mining. Here, you want an example? Take a look at take a look at this. You see this thing right here? This is all the stone. You see if I want to if I want to mine. You see how? I, like, yeah, I can't even. I'm I'm bottoming out kind of. Um, oh, oh, there we go. All right, we're up and we're stuck. So yeah, this is obviously not an ideal vehicle. It's going to be using a lot of fuel trying to mine things. So I think it'll be good to have a small, lightweight mining vehicle that I can just kind of deploy off of this thing. And here's my thoughts. I hope. I really hope this is going to be a viable option because if not, I don't really know what else to do yet. But I'm going to repurpose this thing that I use for cage farmers. And I'm going to try to build my mining vehicle in a way that can insert itself into this in a way that hopefully it's going to be strong enough to get picked up and just settled right here on the side of our vehicle. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be a viable. I really don't know how this is going to work or not. I just hope it is going to work. If you missed the last episode, we did a warehouse run right here, and we got ourselves some uh, some broccoli and pineapple seeds. So tonight, if I remember, I'm going to try to do a farm. Maybe not for pineapple and broccoli, actually. Maybe I I'm actually going to do it for banana. And I'm going to kill this guy right here. Oh, oh, lag. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cal. I was trying to save you. Well, the good news is I can actually run over the hay boss spines and pick it up and start refining them all right uh i need a spot i need i'm gonna find a spot to start building i'm gonna go in this direction because i don't know if i've been over here necessarily so i'm just gonna head over here and see what happens one thing i haven't found yet by the way is an oil pond do i even have an oil pond on this map like i've been a decent amount of distance across this map and i have never found an oil pond yet oh wait a minute i see a desert over there I see a desert tile over here. Could this be oil? Even if it is oil, I don't actually have a pump set up yet, but I'm going to mark it with a beacon, that's for sure. I think this could be promising. What? <laughs> this is it? This tiny little thing right here? This is the oil? All right, well, it looks like I actually have an oil pond here, so let's put down a beacon. All right, yay, oil. I did purple water droplet for oil because... I guess that's kind of what oil is, the closest symbol I could find. What if I take one of these chests that aren't being used? Ah, where do you come from? Where did you come from? These hay bot, you, this, there was not a hay bot in sight around here, I didn't think. All right, put that in the vehicle. So what I was saying, what if I take a chest and a vacuum pump? Oh, I'm gonna need a switch as well. And then while I am here, just hanging out in, can I survive in oil? Yeah, I can survive in oil. But uh, while I'm here, just building my vehicle, I can just have a bunch of oil being vacuumed up. All right, we just slap a switch down, hook it into that. There we go, this is great. This is actually great. Okay, so now to build the vehicle, I need, where's all my wood? I had a whole bunch of wood somewhere in my craft. Oh, there it is. All right, so I'll probably only need that much wood. Oh no, Um, I don't think, I need wheels. I don't think I have enough for the wheels. I need four wheels. One, two, three. I need a single beeswax. One beeswax, please. Rocks. There are rocks nearby, right over here. Oh no, these aren't rocks for beeswax. This is a cliff. Oh, I see it, I see it. There it is, oh, thank you. All right, so this should get us the extra wheel that we need. And I, I forgot about all the other materials to build it. I just thought about the base building material. I'm gonna use lightweight wood because obviously we're gonna have to lift this vehicle up. All right, let's get this last wheel crafting. There we go. I had enough just for one more wheel. So I, luckily I got a level three saddle seat. I also have a level three engine and I got a bunch of bearings in here and I just made a few more bearings. So that should be enough for our vehicle. This is actually, I think I have everything I need now. All right, you know what? It's actually getting kind of dark. I'm gonna go set up a farm right by this water as well. We're gonna do, we're gonna be multitasking like, oh my, are you serious? There's a rock. I didn't even see the rock right there. We just bottomed out on a rock. But as I was saying, I am going to build a farm by this water right here. And this is going to be the biggest farm that I have ever built. Oh, no! 
No, what just happened? No. No, don't go after my vehicle. Please don't go after my vehicle. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is so bad. Please don't go after stuff. Okay, he's going after the, the cow now. What just happened? Okay, let's get in my vehicle. Oh, no, 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 don't go after the vehicle. Okay, he's not going after the vehicle. I, don't, I was just planting the crops, and then that guy just came out of nowhere. All right, I'm going to ram him. I'm going to turn on the drills, and I'm going to ram him. Oh, it's not working. It's not working. Okay, it worked, it worked, it worked. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, he got up real quick. He got up real quick. This is so bad. This is so bad. Uh, go, 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 go. Ragdoll him. Why isn't he being ragdolled? He's not being ragdolled. This is so bad. This is not good. Oh, what? I just killed him with the drills. I lost a wheel. Oh, what happened? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I don't think. No! No, what? My refinery is gone. And my resource collector is gone. I can't believe that just happened. How did he get my refinery and resource collector from here? Hold on. Oh man. I got another minute left. I'm trying to water these plots. Oh, I cannot believe that just happened. That was, that was, that, uh, that's the worst thing. Like, that's so bad. I do not like how that went at all. Wait, I, did I accidentally plant a potato here? <laughs> I guess speaking of which, I probably should plant some potatoes for this crop. I cannot believe that. I am still like in disbelief that that just happened. I was just minding my own business trying to water these crops, and I got attacked by the thing. I shouldn't have attacked him with my vehicle. It, just, it worked so well the last time I did it. I thought I was going to be safe, but it wasn't ragdolling him as nearly as well as it did last time, but the drills actually did a lot of damage, it seemed like. Okay, there we go. Now we got 15 seconds before I can start planting. So I'm going to do... I need 20 bananas. So I'm going to do those 20 bananas, and I'm going to have potatoes for the rest. Oh, man, I got repairs to do and stuff. Gah. That is so disappointing. Okay, and here we go. We are ready to plant. All right, there we go. There's our crop for tonight. Uh, let's get the stuff from the bot, I guess. We got another warehouse key and two component kits. Here's my wheel. Um, I'll get these pieces. Let's see if we can reattach the wheel. How was the wheel even attached? What is... What's going on? Oh, man, we just have a bunch of wood that got uh, destroyed. This is supposed to go like... How did he get through? He hit through the front of my vehicle. I don't understand his hit box. Like, eh, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, yeah, this whole section too. Almost the whole front bumper got taken off. Is that lined up? I think that's lined up. So we get steering bearing. And we got engine. Man, I gotta get a new refinery and a new resource collector. That is so unfortunate. All right, well, I'm gonna get away from this farm because these woods are dangerous. I don't know why I didn't see him. He didn't show, I was right there getting the honey for the, uh, for the wheel and I never even saw him. All right, how's our oil doing, by the way? Is it full? Of Whoa, it's full. I don't think I'm gonna need more oil than that for a long time. So I'm not even gonna bother monopolizing my chest with that. So let's just go ahead and start building this vehicle. Oh my goodness. All right, so you know what? I'm actually gonna use a handful of, I only have 18 metal in here. All right, you, all right I'm gonna start converting some of this into metal. I'm gonna use a handful of these for the wheels as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. Eight. There we go. All right, so I have a three block gap in between this lifter and my actual vehicle. All right, so it's probably going to be a bit of trial and error with this just for functionality and dimensions because I don't want it to be too big. But also, if I make it too small, it's not going to work very well. Ideally, I would want tank steering with this, but I really don't want to use batteries because batteries rely... If, I if I'm going to be making batteries for fuel, it's going to rely on glow. Being a mobile base like I am, I really don't think it's going to be practical to carry glow bugs with us because in my experience, they tend to not like being on moving surfaces and sometimes just randomly explode. 
and I don't want to be responsible for the massacre of an entire species of glow bug for fuel. All right, so this is going to be my first prototype for the wheelbase dimensions, and I'm realizing I actually don't, I don't have a good spot to put my seat with this vehicle right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is already the maximum dimensions, pretty much, that I can do, symmetrically at least. And that is going to prevent me from steering, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely going to be an issue if my wheels keep colliding with my seat like that. Alright, I'm just going to have to experiment with it and hope that the seat's not going to interfere too much with the ability to be picked up by this mechanism. This is definitely turning out to be a little bit more logistically difficult than I was expecting. Oh, I'm gonna need a fuel canister too. Oh man, I keep forgetting all the things I need. Do I have enough for a fuel canister? I need paint. I think I have exactly that amount of paint on me. All right, what are the dimensions of a fuel canister? It looks like actually it would fit perfectly. All right, let's go ahead and fill it up. Let's test out to see if this feels maneuverable. Oh yeah. This is actually pretty good for maneuverability. So now let's do a quick experiment here and let's see what it's like. I should be able to drive into it like this. There we go. And we press the button. And oh no. Oh no, that's not exactly how it was intended to work. All right, hold on. What if we carve out for the seat right up here? So one, two, three like that. Does this help? That doesn't seem to make a difference. Alright, it definitely didn't quite go on as smoothly as I meant it to, so let's see if we can make some modifications to make that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's an obvious thing here. So I just gotta put a backboard right here. Is that gonna be good enough? It's not really good enough. Oh no, the- oh, I'm just realizing the fuel canister does not fit the way that I was thinking it fits. All right, there we go. Now it's in line with the rest of the vehicle. All right, let's see if this makes it any better. All right, lift up. Yes. That's pretty close. You know what? It's the seat still that's actually messing it up. I'm sure if I was to delete this. Oh. Wait, so if I delete this. Oh, look, ooh. That lodged in there really nice. Okay, look at that. But I'm actually going to extend this down some. That way this thing can lodge in a little bit closer, a little bit better. I hope that this works out. All right, let's see what happens when I do this. It doesn't drop down. Oh yeah, that's because I need to move the backboard as well. How's that feel? My main concern right now with this current design is... Oh no, see now the seat has a bit of an issue. So I'm wondering if I make a pocket. Yeah, that actually works out just like that. So we have this weird pocket here, but uh, it is for a very particular purpose. We got two minutes before I have to, uh, oh, I, let me put this back too. We got so much damage to our vehicle that we have to figure out where we have to fill in. But how cool would it be? I'm worried that when I put the drills on the front of this thing that it's not going to work anymore like it's gonna be too heavy in the front but we'll see all right i'm gonna head to the farm now and not take my vehicle with me since we have just a minute left and uh now i know in the future let's not do any more ramming with the farm bots i hope that farm bot doesn't respawn here i actually don't know how the farm bot respawning works but our plants are starting to sprout right now i just hope i have enough inventory space to carry all of it that i need all right farm is all picked up and let's just just go to back to the vehicle and continue along our way. A raid's gonna be coming over here, but we don't care. We're nomads. Oh, hold on a second. I think I just realized something. Wait a minute. How much metal do I have? 40 me- <gasps> He destroyed the chest that the refiner was attached to that outputted all of the, my crafting materials. So those hundreds of metal that I had are gone. That was way more damaging than I thought it was. Wow. I am very... Ah, yeah, that was not worth it. That was really, really not worth it. Okay, anyway, now I gotta put some drills on this thing. And you know what? I'm also gonna craft some... Con Do I have enough for concrete? I'm gonna make a little bit of concrete. Literally a little bit. That's all I can make. <laughs> 
All right, you know what? I got another idea for a chest. I'm gonna take this chest out of here and I'm gonna put this chest back in with all the oil. So we'll have oil in our crafting chain now. And I'm gonna go put this other chest in the water and we're just gonna suck up a whole bunch of water and we're gonna have more water than we'll probably ever need. And I just gotta remember that this is here before I leave. Okay, so I have three drills and this thing does have a center point. So that'll actually work out perfect. Oh, I need more bearings. I don't know if I can make more bearings. I can make one more bearing. I need, oh wait, no. I don't need more bearings, I'm stupid. There are bearings where these drills were attached. All right, I need another controller for this. Thankfully, I have enough because I'm going to create uh, this thing's going to have the ability to lift up and down because we're probably going to want to have control over how high the drills are. All right, so I'll slap the controller there, attach the controller into that bearing. And oh, I need another button too. Oh, no, I can't make a button either because a button also. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, it only takes one scrap metal. Wow. Buttons are super cheap. That's good. I mean, other than the circuit boards aren't nearly as cheap as a piece of scrap metal. Yep, this button will control the controller and that'll make this go up by, I don't know, 60 degrees. This is as fast as it's gonna go, but that's fine. All right, so then as far as the drill layout goes, I think it should be pretty... Oh, I need another... I need a max level controller. I need another controller at max level. <sighs> so that these drills can spin without using fuel. I think I have 60 component kits. That should be enough. Right, is that a good spot for another drill? I think that's a good spot. And I think that is a good spot. All right, I was able to max out the controller, which is great. So I'm gonna have the outside one spin inwards. And we set this to maximum speed, 360 degrees all the way around. All right, and this is super bare bones, super lightweight, but this should be what I need. So now let's see if I can still lift this up with all these drills on the front. I really don't know what to expect with it. I think the drills are gonna make it too front heavy. Oh, no way. <laughs> I can't believe that works. That actually works. All right, let's go check on the water chest. Here's the plan. Oh, is this gonna stay stable? I think it should stay stable. But here's the plan. Let's go check on the water chest. The water chest should be done by now. Then I need to go to a mechanic station. Why isn't that? It's not sitting as flush as I would want it to. I feel like it should be better than that. Is it this wheel that's caught? Like something, something's not right here. Oh, it's the buttons. Oh, it's actually the buttons. The buttons can't be placed there. Wow. Something as small as that was affecting its uh, collision. So obviously I need to put these buttons elsewhere. I'll put them right here instead. All right, now it should lift up and be much more secure. Oh, it's not going in again. Oh, that's because the seats. Oh, it's slowly pushing it. There it goes. Okay, there it goes. All right, now, yep, yeah, now it's much flatter. Less wobbly, I think it's gonna be. Okay, yeah, now it should be much more stable against my vehicle. All right, where did I put the chest? Is it full? All right, it is full of water. This is great. So, um, I actually didn't even need the concrete. The reason why I was getting the concrete is because I thought I was going to have to add concrete to the back of this to make it back heavy so it wasn't gonna uh, flip off the front when it was being lifted up. But it seems to be well enough on its own without the concrete in the back needed. All right, so now in preparation for getting the refine bot back. I think that is where it's gonna hook up to. So now, before we test out our mining vehicle, let's get to a mechanic station because we're gonna have to use the mining vehicle to get the resources necessary to recover our refine bot and our resource collector. So I'm gonna activate this and I'm gonna activate this and we're gonna see which one seems closer. So there's that one over there. I think this one over here is probably closer. So I got my first journey with a deployable uh, miner attached to my vehicle. This is fun. All right, so the only... All right, so an issue I'm realizing with the deployable miner is I can't put my vehicle on a lift without losing my mining vehicle. So I gotta be really, really careful. All right, here we are. So hopefully there's gonna be some rocks to mine near. I actually don't, I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's some over there. Okay, we got some. Okay, what are the materials that we need for a refine bot? 60 metal. Oh, I need more circuit boards. And I got the component kits. Resource collector is 30 metal. So we're gonna need 90 metal total. 
And what I have in my crafting chain is 28 metal. So not a whole lot. So I'm actually going to make the resource collector first because then when we have the resource collector, I can start filling it before as we collect resources for the refine bot. And then once we have the refine bot, then we already have a resource collector full of resources. Um, and resource collector is here. So let's put the resource collector back in our vehicle where it belongs. So I'm hoping that with this resource collector here like that, I'll be able to, when I run over hay bots, I'm hoping it'll instantly pick up the hay bot spines. All right, so now let's test out. I really hope this mining vehicle even works because it's perfect for the, the purposes of having the deployability. Well, the question is, is it going to be able to actually mine rocks? Oh, I need lights for this thing. All right, hold on. Let's see if we can make some lights. No, I'm not going to make lights yet because it takes circuit boards and I need those for the uh, refine bot. So, uh, oh, you know what I can do? I can use my vehicle here. I can use this thing to light up the rocks. There we go. Oh, I should also upgrade this engine, I just realized. Let's get some more component kits. That way we'll be more fuel efficient. You should always use level five engines when possible. All right, now we got a level five engine. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. All right, so far, so far it's all right. I might actually lessen the power of this engine. Oh boy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is actually working so well. What? This is working amazing. Oh my goodness, that is incredible right now. Wow. I Am I just getting like lucky with this? This is instantly, oh boy, it almost flipped me over. This is just instantly uh, destroying this stuff. Out of fuel. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't actually hook up. <laughs> I didn't hook up the fuel canister to the engine. My bad. All right, here we go. This is amazing. This is gonna be so much more efficient than using my vehicle. Holy cow, this is so fast. I am actually mind blown right now at how quick this is going. Why is this going so quick? Are smaller vehicles just better at mining? Because I've always used these massively complex vehicles and it takes way longer to refine the stuff. Or not refine, but um, to, you know, break down the materials. But this is like instant contact breaking it down. All right, I'm gonna have to bring in, I'm gonna have to bring in the, the mobile base to pick some of this stuff up and clear out a little bit. Let me just get these ones. Look at that. It's like instant contact. It's amazing. But wait, I need, um, I think, was it 60 metal? So here, this should give us another 10. Yeah, so I just got to refine six of these metal rods and I'll be able to get my refine bot. Oh wait, I still need the circuit boards though. I'm not out of the woods yet. All right, I'm gonna leave my drill vehicle there and let's go ahead and pick up a lot of this stuff. Getting ready to refine it. Just gonna drive right over it. Should be good. Oh yeah, there it goes. There it goes. And then this, I can just go ahead and do a little bit of that. All right. Oh, is it full already? I think it's actually full. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go through periodically. You know what? What if I just attach this right next to it? I'm wondering if it'll automatically pull from there as it frees up space. All right. Let's go get our refine bot. All right. So I believe in order to put this thing in here, I need to get in through here. And I think right here there should work yeah yeah we're in business we're back in business after a very unfortunate and stupid setback very stupid on my part we we're finally back in business the good news is uh at least at least these things actually held up but too bad they didn't actually protect what was behind them like their whole purpose was to protect what was behind them but the farm bot seems to be able to hit through the front pieces so i don't know and it does not seem like this is capable of picking up from the edges unfortunately so we're just going to do that then all right let's continue mining the rest of this and let's just get the material like we're gonna have a whole bunch of metal hopefully after this i'm loving this i'm gonna need more resource collectors at the rate that this goes is it possible for me to fit 
a second resource collector in here. You know what? The only way I can do that is... Oh, this isn't gonna work that well. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Yes, I can fit another resource collector next to this. Oh, let's do this. We're gonna have two resource collectors now. All right, there we go. I blocked in the resource collectors. I had to carve a hole in the uh, sides of my vehicle, so I just expanded that out by a block. Let's get back to collecting some of these resources. Now that I have two resource collectors, this should go... I should be able to hold a lot more as I end up mining. Ooh, wait a minute. The question is... Is this actually gonna pull from this one on the left? I don't think it will. Here, before I collect more, I need to see what happens when it runs out over here. This is, ah, oh, this is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Dang. I know this is gonna be a problem. It's not gonna pull from this one. All right, there's a moment of truth. No. No, I just fit these in here too, why? Why do you gotta be like this? Man, that is really, really disappointing. It's so close. All right, well, let's still collect the rest of the rods anyway. It might still be worth having the extra resource collector, and then I can just kind of swap their places once uh, one of them is out. I don't know. It'll just be nice to be able to pick up more resources and hold them. All right, I think I did it. I think I actually finished everything. I'm gonna back myself on over this. And I should be able to go ahead and lift this back up. Oh, let's turn that switch off so we're not drilling anymore. And there we go. It goes right into the slot. No problem. It can still pick up even with the concrete on it. And now I just got to drive through here and get all of the resources with my resource collectors. All right. I think that might be everything. So let's check it out. Look at this. I think it is still worth it to have this because this is going to be refining and I can start moving on rather than having to wait for this to uh, unfill and then refill it again. So once this is empty, I can just take this out, put it on the ground, take that, put it there, take that, put it back, and uh, we just swap their spot. It's not the most ideal uh, situation. It would be nice if we could just pull from both of them, but I think all in all, uh, it's better than what we had. So now I need to get some paint flowers. I'm gonna definitely get some paint flowers because I want to paint up my mining vehicle so it doesn't look like this uh, ugly piece of wood just strapped to the side of my vehicle. All right, so one of these is finished. Let's see what the uh, the system is like here. I just put it right there and take that one and put it right there. That's not bad. That is actually not too bad, not too time consuming. And now the craft bot or the refinery can continue refining. Now let's check in. Our refinery has finished processing all of our stuff. Let's see what we have for materials now. Look at that. Now we have 220 uh, metal and a lot of stone. And let's make sure that that is still feeding into our crafting chain. Yeah, 220 metal. I think we're good. We have 585 water. We got everything we need now. So now we also, you can see here, we have 42 bananas. And I believe that all we need is 40 bananas and I can get two mountable spud guns. But uh, with those bananas, we can get those two mountable spud guns that I'm gonna build like a logic system and stuff so that we can have rapid firing spud guns. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my ammo container and stuff for all that. But yeah, I think in the next episode, I'm gonna be somehow slapping some type of automatic spud gun uh, thing on the front of this vehicle. And hopefully we'll be able to kill some farm bots with that rather than ramming them recklessly and losing our refine bot. All right, our lights are now ready. Let's put these on the front of the vehicle. I think I'm gonna go with uh, right there and right there. Or maybe I should go wider. Like that. Maybe one in. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I think that looks good. I think we did an amazing job. We have a deployable mining vehicle that we can pick up and release at any point. Let me know what you guys thought of this and let me know what you guys are looking forward to in the future of the series. If you like this video, you'll probably like some more stuff on the channel that you can see on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.